Hi guys, here's the tutorial for my own designer handbag. Forget Gucci, Prada, Chanel, whatever. It's an original. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm just fooling around. Please don't make the same mistake that I did and use um, magnetic uh, closure because, and I will show it to you, it, it doesn't uh, hold up very well because of the fact that it's too weak uh, for the strong magnets that I used. So uh, use a little bit of Velcro or something like that and um, um, save yourself the... <clears throat> you know what I mean. But I made the handbag and I'm going to show you how to put it together and what the options are. I also added the tassels and these caps I just bought on AliExpress. I don't know where, but if you um, search for those tassel caps, you will find them on AliExpress. All the rest is um, in the die cut and when you fold it over, open, you have a box inside. I will measure the box for you. In metric, the box is about uh, almost nine and a half centimeters by six point three, and it's wide about almost three centimeters. And now we get the inches. <laughs> oh, you know the trouble. Um, slightly bigger than. Uh, three and a half inch by uh, two and a half inch by one and a quarter inch so then you have an idea on how big the box inside is and uh, the total sorry I forgot the total uh, bag is four and a half inches by five inches so it's a, it's a very large handbag. Um, I will first show you the pieces uh, that you will get. And there are a lot. And uh, about one piece I have to tell you. Um, they work like this. So you will get these pieces. This. This one. It's a set with a lot of options. The zipper. The zipper closure. Uh, a wrapper for the bow you don't need it but I put it in there just in case you want to use it a tassel die and of course the bow dies themselves so this is the set how you will get it and I'm sorry for all the sliding noises but if you die cut it out and I have some tips and tricks I want to share with you uh, I will first take the inner box so we will first put the inner box together die cut this one two times and what you have to do I have a little tiny cutter and this is an old machine but I love it and it still works perfectly when you die cut it after die cutting you snip off the top edge of one of them just like this this piece you don't need uh, at the second part I will show you why because when you put tape on this side and this just fold it over that's more than enough then you fold it on this side you take off the backings of your tape that you put on and I will recommend to do this with tape or liquid glue not with hot glue and I will tell you why Oh, I have, to, I have to turn it over because then I can see it better what I'm doing. Hot glue will add some thickness to the box. So this will be slightly higher. If you add lick, oh sorry, um, hot glue, this will be higher and then the edge of your box will be higher too and it does not close nicely. So use liquid glue or tape just like I did. Then you have to cut, die cut this piece two times. And if you can see at this edge, this has um, uh, a 
diagonal corners and this one has slightly more straight corners. These ends are the top ends. So there you don't have to put tape on, just fold it over and it's just to prevent the um, people from uh, seeing inside the box. Sorry, I forgot to cut off that little bit of extra tape. Uh, to look into the box when they did not open the box yet. I like those details. You know, uh, for the ones that follow me for a long time now, I like those uh, details and that makes, I think, a good design. Then you attach them to the side, take off the backings. Now, I always struggle with the backings because I don't have any nails. My nails are very thin and break easy and yes, I, I tried to do fake nails but that's not me. I can't work with fake nails, I don't know why. I see a lot of you la lovely ladies do it but I, I can't, I just can't. So that's why I always have short nails. And then you do the same thing to the other side, take off the backing and by making the box like this or designing the box like this, the die was uh, cheaper to produce because there were already a few large items in the die and you know I, I try to um, Remember all the details like that. So, and then you can close your box like this. Oh, why doesn't it cooperate with me? So, like this. And then you have the box for inside of your bag. You do not need to use the uh, box inside. I like it, but the seller had put it uh, has put it in his shop. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that you can buy it as an extra option. So you don't necessarily need it, but I think the, the total design will look better if you have it. Then you die cut this part two times. And on one end you put the tape, and on the second one you cut off this piece. This... Um, extra step you need to do just in order for you not having an extra die without this piece and also that would make the set cheaper so if you are willing to do this extra step by cutting this part off then uh, we could make it as cheap as possible and I say this because I know some of you don't like uh, uh, that you have to do things like this to a die I don't mind, it's a little bit of effort and if it saves me money and makes it able for me to buy the, uh, the die, it's worth it, I think. But that's my opinion and you totally have the right to your own one. So, then you stick the two parts together and then the bag is already almost ready like this and then you pull them towards each other and close the top part like this and I would recommend to do it with a little bit of velcro I saw a, a really tiny dots of velcro on Aliexpress so when you use that one I'm sure it will be better than the strong magnets that I used then about dressing up the front and that's why I didn't glue because you can't uh, sorry, because you can glue the box inside, so it will stay inside. But the reason I don't do this in this video is, is because I wanted to show you something. You can take this piece, and this piece is slightly smaller than the uh, bag itself. There are two of the same pieces, but one is slightly larger and one is slightly smaller, as you can see. This one is the small one and if you don't buy the uh, front of the bag then um, uh, you have the larger one 
sorry, if you don't buy the frame, then you have this one and you can make it like this. And then you can put on um, something like, for instance, uh, let me take out another die. Then you can use a tag or something more fancy like this one. This is just what I had on hand quickly. And you can dress it up like this. But if you buy the extra extension, then you can, uh, sorry, then you will get the bigger rim and the one with the fancy crosses. And then you can make it like this. And then the back layer will f uh, fall behind, totally behind the front layer. If you only buy the other one and don't buy this one or you have bought them, this one is slightly smaller, see? And that's what I used on my bag. I used a bigger rim and on top of that I used the part with all the crosses and the holes inside. So that's what I used. Um, then for the bow, there is also a bow inside and I made holes inside so you can use them with a bread. Just like this, fold the sides over to the middle, put the bread in, put the back side on it and then you're done. Then you have your bow, so you don't need any glue. If you don't like to use a bread, that's why I made the middle, uh, designed the middle part for it, then you can close it with the middle part. So, either way, it's just what you prefer yourself. Then I put in a zipper and what I did was first cut it out of cardstock and then out of designer paper and put it on the back side of the bag like this with the little uh, zipper puller. See, I remember. <laughs> you taught me how it was called. So, And then I have a little tip on the tassel and I will show you the tip. This is the tassel die. I showed it to you. On AliExpress I bought a bunch of these quilling tools and I think those are so handy to have for these tassel dies. What I did was um, I started at the short side but those um, quilling tools are very close the first time you are going to use them. So make sure that the first time you use your new quilling tool, if you are going to buy one, that you use thinner paper because I tried the first time with my thicker cardstock because I used bezel cardstock, it would split my paper and after I made one or two tassels with the thinner paper, it was much easier to get it onto the thicker paper. So it's just a tip, do with it what you uh, like and how I make the tassels is like this. I am starting to roll and this is so convenient because I don't have any nails. And rolling with a quilling tool like this makes life so much better. And when I'm almost to the end, I take a little piece of tape, put it on there, cut the tape off. Take off the backing and then I can roll around and then I have my tassel and then I just can take out my quilling tool. So then you have your tassel, the only thing you don't, uh, sorry, the only thing you then have to do is put a little bit of hot glue on the top and put your cap on it and then you have the same um, tassel part as I did. I will try to find the tassel tops, so the caps, and I will also try uh, to remember to uh, give you a link to tiny uh, velcro dots, so then you have all the items I also used. And last but not least, I discovered something totally by accident. You know all, uh, you, sorry, you all know the bow that I designed. But when I was taking this part apart, I discovered that this bow is almost the same size. So I can use it 
to make an edge on it. This one is a little bit more pointy, but it also makes a fun back layer. So if you want to jazz your bow up and you own this um, die, then you can make the, board, sorry, the bow even more fancy. So it's just a tip, I just discovered it myself, I all, always like to think outside of the box. So um, I hope it all makes sense in how to put the, the uh, designer handbag by the goal together. <laughs> I'm proud of my own designer handbag. <laughs> and I'm crazy, I know. Uh, so if you like to uh, make it, if you bought the, it, uh, I hope this tutorial will help in how to put it together. Because I still think it's one of my most stunning designs. Uh, most stunning designs. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon in a new tutorial. Bye bye.